My name is Emily Breaker. I'm the Vertebrate Collections Manager at the University of Colorado Museum of Natural History and the Arctos Webinar Manager. And today I'll be highlighting the Arctos community and the unique collaboration that is central to our work and decision making at Arctos. For some background, Arctos has been online since 1999 and provides a full suite of tools for hosting, managing, and linking museum object data. Arctos brings together museum professionals, information experts, researchers and educators from diverse disciplines to form a consortium of more than 215 collections at 40 institutions. And we truly consider Arctos to be a tangible synthesis of this community and therefore able to respond to emerging innovations and community needs. The Arctos community has really evolved out of necessity and this is because the structure of Arctos involves a shared data environment distributed across its member institutions. This means that database values such as drop-down menu and pick list vocabularies, taxonomy, geography, people and organization names are held in common. As a result, we are compelled to work together, and so every database feature, function, or enhancement is forged from input and discussion among Arctos users. At times, this community feedback process is certainly more challenging than simply making ad hoc changes to the system, but data normalization is a core tenet of Arctos, and it allows for predictable queries that promote discoverable research grade data. Beyond discovery, shared data often leads to efficiencies and collaborative data quality improvements. For instance, when one collection creates a georeference locality for Albuquerque, New Mexico, other collections can elect to use that same locality record for specimens housed at their institutions, leveraging community source coordinates to save staff time and redundant efforts. Similarly, Agent data are collated together for collectors who have contributed specimens to multiple institutions. This presents a more holistic view of career-long activity, rather than partitioning information by institution and limiting access to valuable summary data. Shared agents provide the opportunity to discover, for instance, that an unfamiliar collector is in fact a name variant for a person that's already linked with 25 collections, reconciling the duplicate name, while at the same time making the associate date associated data more rich and complete. And because we work in a shared environment, integrated data allow us to easily create and track relationships between Arctos records, both within and across institutions. For example, a predator record can be linked with its prey item housed in a different collection, or a host vouchered at one museum linked with a parasite deposited in another. These relationships, along with external specimen linkages, are highlighted through Arctos Projects, a collaborative feature that compiles the products of cross-collection or multi-institutional activities like expeditions, grants, and loans. Resulting specimens, media, and publications are showcased in a public-facing page to illustrate these impacts of specimen-based research. Additionally, the Arctos shared data model serves as an asset to the museum community, especially for small regional collections or mid-sized institutions that may lack local IT infrastructure for staff to maintain a server or aid with configuring IPT software. A cloud-based shared architecture aligned with Darwin Core, Audubon Core, GGBN, and cultural metadata standards allows Arctos to automate system-wide data packaging and publishing to aggregators, as well as provide services such as remote media storage, shifting these admin tasks off of individual collections. The unique aspect of the Arctos community is that the system is used to manage both biodiversity and cultural data. Therefore, Arctos integrates data sets and users across many disciplines, including anthropology and archaeology, earth and biological sciences, the arts, and even emerging collection types such as environmental samples and microbiomes. We believe that collaboration among a diverse network of peers is one of our greatest strengths at Arctos. And bringing together different perspectives and infusions of new data types has sparked multiple innovations and creative solutions that broadly benefit all users. For instance, cultural collections can add scientific names to the identifications of their objects, allowing the records to be useful for both ethnographic and biodiversity research. Likewise, paleontology collections have borrowed sensitive data practices from cultural collections when additional data redaction measures were needed to meet U.S. federal and private land regulations. The Arctos Working Group forms the foundation of our community and has really made Arctos a more cohesive hub since it was formalized eight years ago. 
We meet monthly to discuss communications, documentation, policy, and developments. Each Arctos collection is encouraged to have at least one representative participate in the working group. We also have a steering committee that oversees the fiduciary operations and strategic planning for Arctos. All officer positions are held by museum directors, curators, collection and data managers. So from the ground up, we're all museum people governing and guiding Arctos. Arctos stays connected with its members through a variety of channels. We're on Twitter and Slack. We have a shared Google Drive and a listserv. We also produce a quarterly newsletter that communicates announcements and new features, as well as community building sections highlighting Arctos users, new collection spotlights, and family announcements. And one of the primary ways we stay organized and participate in collective decision making is through GitHub. And GitHub is an open access repository where we document and track all database issues, questions, and enhancement requests. Each GitHub thread serves as a consultation where any Arctos operator can ask a question or propose a fix or new feature, engaging others to chime in with answers or think through how suggested changes might impact their own collection. Any threads proposing significant changes are tagged as requiring community input. Dedicated committees then meet regularly to review tagged issues. Together with our programmer, teams resolve issues or bring more complex requests to a monthly critical issues meeting to review with the larger working group. This is where a lot of group brainstorming happens that seeds ideas for solutions and new features that are compatible across collections. In this way, users truly shape the development of Arctos and ultimately refine and improve data quality and system usability through this process. Additionally, this real-time feedback mechanism allows for Arctos to nimbly incorporate community suggestions. For instance, the ability to link ORCID IDs and Wikidata URLs with Arctos agents was rolled out in a matter of days after being suggested and approved. Learning in Arctos is also collaborative. New collections coming into Arctos are assigned a volunteer mentor from their field to help them prepare and migrate data, gaining an immediate connection to the Arctos community. Data migration, progress, and communications are tracked through a GitHub project that provides a step-by-step -step workflow with plenty of helpful documentation and a place to ask questions. Our documentation is co-written by Arctos programmers and users and shared in our online editable wiki handbook. User-generated video tutorials also document major data entry and editing tasks. And because we are in a shared environment, these resources can be conveniently incorporated into training materials for new staff, students, or volunteers, regardless of their institution. Arctos also hosts a monthly webinar series open to the larger museum community, where users present on different topics, whether taking a deep dive into a particular database feature or demonstrating an overview of managing a discipline-specific collection. We hold monthly office hours co-facilitated by Arctos users where community members can drop in and ask questions, as well as a programmer office hour where users are able to directly discuss technical issues or code enhancements with our lead programmer. So as you can imagine, with so much regular interaction, close working relationships are frequently forged among Arctos institutions. This has resulted in multiple collaborative projects, grant proposals, and research. Similar to the diverse community that IDIG Bio has fostered over the past 10 years, Arctos has brought together colleagues across institutions and collection types who often discuss general curatorial topics and learn from one another on myriad aspects of managing museum collections. The Arctos community also includes our many external collaborators who are critical to augmenting database capabilities and creating a web of network data. And we're incredibly grateful for their contributions to help Arctos towards realizing the extended specimen concept through providing a comprehensive total view of specimen products and usage. So to wrap up, a major strength of Arctos is its engaged and connected community. We highly value member participation, whether coming from a large institution or a small field station. Through a culture of shared decision-making and peer support and welcoming new collaborators and data types, we aim to collectively advance best practices, data fitness and utility, as museum collections and data management practices continue to evolve. Thank you.